See what else this man, uh, Joe Rogan, got to say. Have you ever done Jeez. psychedelic mushrooms? I've never done anything psychedelic. Can, can... Wait. Me either. I'm not going to lie, though. I'm not going front. Most I ever did. Not even want to tell you that. Not pills. I never pop pills or some shit like that, but I ain't going to speak on. But I've definitely smoked weed before. Don't smoke no more. I've thought about taking mushrooms, but I'm very afraid. Very fucking afraid. Why? Can I tell you why? Yeah. For the simple fact that I've heard too many stories about people having trips and never come, never being the same again. That shit has scared me. Because it's psychedelic. is your mind. Your mind is probably the most important fucking thing on your body. Like, it makes your, makes your body work, makes everything move and maneuver the way that it's supposed to. So if you fuck this up, everything else is going to be fucked up. And I can't have that. Niggas got shit to do. Can't be no fucking vegetable. I can't have people taking care of me. Come on. No, no, no. Not to say, I'm not trying to say that to scare anybody, but that's how I feel about it. I'm not necessarily going to promote or, or tell nobody not to do it. Just make sure if you do do these things, you do take psychedelic drugs or anything, and you put anything in your body that you're not not aware of or fully understand the function or, or functionality of the set items that you're putting in your temple, please do the research. That's all I'm saying. Just do the research. You have enough sense or common sense to be like, I don't know what this is. Somebody has told me about it or somebody has did it. Somebody's given it to me. Let me look up what it, what, what are the causes, what are the effects of doing these things and what could happen in the future if I'm going to be like, because people, people, sometimes people take things and they don't realize like, like for example, crack or, or just, just dragging it. Coke or some shit. Yeah, it may be cool for the moment, but too much of shit, too much of anything can, can, can damage you mentally, physically, or, or whatever the case may be. Uh, but they don't realize, like, yo, this shit has a toll on you. The food you eat, the shit you put into your body, like, not, like, not just food-wise, thoughts, shit you read, shit you watch, that shit affects you now and later. Let's keep it a bean. Let's be honest. So, just make sure you do your research. And make sure you, you've done enough research to where if somebody was to ask you a question about it, not just on some informative shit, just somebody just asked you a question, you can be like, you got the answers. Because if somebody asks you some shit about something you take and you don't know how to answer the question that especially something like that that is you're not as informed as you need to be and you probably shouldn't be taking it our brain barely works as an accurate decoder of the natural world around you brain is capable of so much extraordinary thought within itself of course that uh, what i care about for the world is what is objectively true and what's objectively true can be verified by multiple people and if it's only true within your head it's not useful is all i'm saying don't agree <laughs> if it's only useful in your head it's not useful for the world don't agree how could it not be useful to, to it's other useful people to you oh, yeah. and if useful to you useful to but people. hold on other if people. it's useful to you and then that usefulness to you actually manifests itself in something that gets created because of this experience like Kerry Mullis created the PCR method because he had an acid trip and during the acid trip came up with this idea have you ever done Yeast. psychedelic I don't know what any of that, what that PCR shit is. These are the top. Have you ever? He was talking about, but, um, hmm. And again, acid trips, bro. All that shit's crazy, bro. It could, people say they use it for emotional purposes or for spiritual purposes. I just be seeing, like, people talk about what happens, like, during the trips or whatever the case may be. And they say you constantly are supposed to remind yourself that you're on a trip because you could fuck around and fuck your mind up. And that's crazy. I got to keep reminding. When I when I used to smoke weed, I never used to think like, damn, I got to keep telling myself I'm high. I knew I was high. You telling me, and, and that's another thing. I don't even know how long that psychedelic shit lasts. Who's to say I have a trip today and I mean, I could still be high tomorrow? I don't ever want no shit like that. But, I mean, maybe, realistically... They had to be using psychedelic drugs back in the day. Like, I'm not talking about, like, the 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 slavery day. I'm talking about before slavery and all of that other conception, before everything. Before they knew, maybe not necessarily knew about weed, because weed's been around for forever. But before we ever knew, I'm pretty sure, like, the natives, the Native Americans, and all these other different people knew about psychedelic drugs. 
they may have called it something different or they may have used it in, a, in other practices. Like even, even it's very interesting to think that where medicine is today, bro, like where it is today is very interesting. Like popping pills and shit. Like, I'm pre- like back then people used to use like psychedelic drugs and other like herbs. It's crazy how the mainstream is now just using pills and all these other things. Now it's an epidemic of it. It's, it's very interesting, bro. I think we should go back to the natural herbs and shit, personally. Because I feel like it's more healthy. It's from the earth. All these other things is manufactured and po- poisoning. You know what I'm saying? I don't do drugs at all. So, I'm just speaking from that perspective. But I don't think that shit kind of help. Psychedelic drugs, I don't know the real purpose of it. Somebody let me know, though. Stay off drugs, kids.